If you could live forever, would you? Simply, no. I am 24 and a half, and I swear to God, sometimes I am the shit sick of life. I would not want to live forever. What made you get the tattoos in Sanskrit? Well, at the time, I was surrounded by certain people who were influenced and um, inspired by certain things, which then in turn influenced me, and um, yeah, I just, I got influenced, and it was the right time of my life. Um, right thing, right meaning to have tattoos done in Sanskrit, so I did. Do you think you'll end up getting a, um, a sleeve or are you just going to stick to your upper arm? Definitely, I think, yeah, definitely, in my life I will definitely get a sleeve, probably full, two full sleeves, I've already said it countless times. Um, at what age did you get into tattoos and piercings and also Hinduism? The Hinduism comes with the Sanskrit and the Tibetanism, like, you know, all that jazz. Tibetanism? Is that even a word? <laughs> um, it happened probably when I was about, uh, I don't know, 19, 18, 19? 20? I don't know, 21? I'm really not sure. I couldn't tell you. that I'd be lying. But, um, the tattoos and piercings has been something that I've been interested and um, inspired and amazed by since a very, very young age because it was always made taboo to me by my family. So, of course, things that you're told as a child, oh, that's wrong, that's horrible, that's nasty, that's disgusting, that's below you, that's, you know, bloody blah, blah, blah. You're going to be interested in it, especially if you see nice people, hot people, or nice tattoos and interesting piercings. You know, you're going to be interested by it, so very young age. Um, are you planning on getting any more piercings? Um, and what are, your uh, what are your future plans as far as mods go? Um, I'm not planning any piercings, uh, you know, in the immediate future. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I will have my tongue re-split and I possibly ha could have like like either section, either side pierced. I think that would be quite nice. I'd like that done. Um, would you rather give up piercings or tattoos if you had to and why? A good question. I definitely think I'd have to get uh, give up piercings because I have too many tattoos on the go to give up my tattooing, um, I would be like half finished, everything's half finished, uh, well no, not everything's half finished, I have a few unfinished pieces that, you know, I I would just be ashamed to have not finished, <laughs> so definitely piercings. Are there any um, tattoos, piercings, etc that you regret and wish that hadn't been there? Um, no, I, I love everything that I have. Um, think I have taken things out, not because I regret them, but just because they haven't healed or they haven't felt right. So, yeah. How's your tongue split doing? It's closing up. Well, it closed up to a certain point, but it's doing fine. It's doing great. It's gonna get re-split at some point, like I've been saying for a whole half a year. <laughs> But it will at some point. Um, how many piercings have you had? I... Ooh, hi. Facebook. <laughs> I have had 44 piercings. Um, I don't have 44 piercings anymore, but I have had 44. Um, and that's including what I still have in. How old were you when you got your first mod and what was it? I was shamefully one, one years old. My mother got my ears, my lobes pierced when I was one. Um, what was your first um, tattoo and what age? It was a tattoo on my lower stomach and um, I was 18. Do you know what got you interested in different body mods? Um, it was a, a whole bunch of people, people I was hanging around with. Um, when I was at college, I ended up um, going with uh, one of my college friends. She got a piercing, and then I made friends with people in the piercing tattoo parlor studio thing. 
And I just ended up getting getting more and more and more stuff done. So um, it was the people that I hung around with um, and in that environment that influenced me and got me interested. Um, have you ever experienced a hook suspension? If so, uh, what was it like for you? And if not, what are your thoughts on it? I have had large gauge needles um, put through my back with and hooks, and I've pulled and I've tried to hang. I have hung but I haven't been able to get my big toe off the ground. It's an extremely exhilarating, painful, yet just bizarre and extremely difficult situation to be in. It's an experience that really does test you. Um, and my thoughts are, if you want to try it, to try it, do it. I, I have not, no negative feelings or, or thoughts against it. Have you ever considered a subdermal implant? Um, no, not really because I don't have anything that I want to have, you know, like really quite permanently stuck in my body. So, no, I haven't. Um, will you ever re-pierce your philtrum? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I'm not planning it. Um, how does your family react? to your mods. Um, that depends who you ask. My brother doesn't really express, express his opinion, although I'm sure he doesn't really care, doesn't really mind. Um, my mother has asked if I, when I'm going to stop tattooing myself. My dad can't barely look at me in the face sometimes because he just, just hates it, hates it, hates it, hates it. And I respect that and I respect his opinion. Um, so I don't rub it in his face, so to speak, but yeah. And my family don't really like it. Um, hey, it's my life. Um, I'm not gonna, like I say, rub it in their face, so that's that. Do necklaces ever get caught on your neck microdermal implant? Or anything else, like shirt collars? It is actually a skin diver. I'm gonna push this down. It's actually a skin diver, it's not a microdermal implant, and no, nothing actually gets caught on it. I'm quite lucky. Um, so yeah. Uh, is everyone at your work um, as modified as you? Uh, no, nobody's as modified as me, but everybody is modified. Everybody has coloured hair, tattoos, maybe even just little small ones. Um, body piercings, um, fake nails, um, yeah, so we're all modified, um, but I'm more extremely modified. Do you have a chewy or a crunchy personality? I am definitely a crunchy type of person. Um, you've had breast implants done, right? Did they hurt to heal? Right, yes I have. I have had my breast augmentated, if that's even a word. I had a breast augmentation done just over three years ago. Um, the healing process took a long, long time, but I was back at work within two weeks, well, after two weeks, um, and it did hurt to heal. There were three main factors um, that were my main bugbears of, of healing. And number one, believe it or not, constipation from the um, codeine in the cocodamol. So the painkillers were making me constipated. I didn't take a dump for five days. And by day five, I couldn't eat because I felt full up to here. Like, I thought if I put something in my mouth, I would chew it and I wouldn't be able to swallow it and I'd just vomit and that would be that. Second was the... The plasters that were stuck underneath um, my breast, like over the incision area, I must have been allergic to the stickiness on it because that itched the fuck out of me and I swear to God, I scratched so badly that I had my incision line and then I had loads of little scratch-like lines where I was like just raking it because it was just so itchy, it was so sore. And also morning boob 
Now, anybody else who has had a uh, boob job will know what I'm talking about. When you lie down, your breast implants seem to travel up on your chest and when you have to then in the morning have somebody help you sit up even if you've just been lying back with loads of pillows behind you because you can't lie flat even if you just have to go up a little bit your breast implant then has to slide down into the pocket that was created for the implant and holy mother of god that hurts like like you have no idea and it's a case of somebody putting their arms underneath you and lifting you up and as you're going up you're going <laughs> because it fucking hurts <laughs> and I've just sprayed it and not said it so yeah it really really does hurt but aside from that it actually wasn't as painful as I thought it was gonna be and I had my my implants underneath my pectoral muscles so, apparently that's the most painful way to have it done, that's a more painful procedure, but it wasn't actually that painful. Um, where did you live before you moved to the UK, and why did you move? I am South African, I was born in South Africa, we moved when I was about 13 and a half to England, because my dad got a job promotion um, with the company he was working with at the time, so that is why we moved. Um, do you like living in the UK? Uh, if yes, why? If no, where would you rather live? I love living in England. Um, 